Well, good morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for stopping by and watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, comment, tell me what you think about it. Uh, I read all the comments, and I try to reply back to every single one. But today, it's wet, it's chilly, and I want to show you how I make fire starters. I don't know exactly what you would call them, but this is what I call them, it's fire starters. And, uh, these are what they kind of look like once they're done. Uh, items that you're going to need is a metal coffee can. Or at least that's what I use. I took a pair of pliers and I bent the lip down so that it makes like a pouring place to pour the wax out of. An old candle or any candle that you want to use. This one's been broke. Uh, if you're uh, if you've got old candles in the little glass jars, you'll have to uh, use a knife to scrape them out with. It takes quite a bit of time. This process actually takes quite a bit of time. So it ain't nothing that you can just throw together real quick. It takes a minute. Uh, I found that with these type of candles that are not in jars and stuff, that if you take a hammer, you can smash them and they'll break off, break up into the pieces that are the right size to melt back down. You'll need a pot to put water in that your coffee can can set inside. We're pretty much making a double broiler, boiler, whatever they're called. Just a regular old egg carton. And I believe the longest process of this is collecting lint from your dryer. Or you could go, you probably could go to your local uh, laundromat. They might have some there. If that's the case, then it's not a very long process at all. But saving up enough plant takes a while. So, <clears throat> first, we need to take and bust up some wax, some candles. Uh, be careful, they, it will sling everywhere. And it don't take a lot of wax, but it does take quite a bit, not a lot, to make these. Just depending on how, how many you want to make. I mean, today we're going to make 18 of them. <clears throat> They're very handy. Uh, very portable, very light. I mean, especially go camping, hiking, well, any circumstances that you need to build a fire. Uh, you don't always have paper or cardboard there to help start the fire or leaves and stuff like that are damp, and, but you need a fire. You just before you leave, put a couple of them in your pocket when you get where you're going. Light them and they're good to go. But let's get some of this busted up. And stay tuned. And we'll be I'll be back with the rest. Hey, hello people. Okay. Well, we're just finishing up with the wax, breaking the wax up, putting it in here. I got about that much broken up wax. Now before we move on to the kitchen, we need to go ahead and get this ready so when the wax is melted, we can come straight out here 
I hope you can see. Yeah. All right, so we got our egg carton. Now you want to take your lint that you've gotten from your uh, dryer, and you simply just stuff it down into the egg thing. It ain't got to be perfect. It ain't got to be the same amount. Each one's going to turn out to be a little different. You know, you just stuff the hose with lint. There's a piece of wax that popped over there. And you just keep doing this until you fill them up or fill up as many as you want. I would suggest if you're going to make these, to make up a bunch. That way you have them. Another thing also, this type of, like the styrofoam type egg carton, they're okay, but I found that if you get the, the cardboard type, that it, it works a little better, but these work just as good. The main thing, the main thing is, is just something to use as a mold but sometimes the the egg carton sticks and that just adds more fuel for the fire to make it last longer um, uh, these things when they're lit they last they'll stay lit between five and ten minutes so it, it burns for a good long time so now that we got this ready so set it to the side, make sure the rain doesn't get on it. Okay folks, so turn the water on, get our pot, put some water in it. You don't want a lot of water. You don't want, don't want your can with wax in it, candle wax to, to overflow when you set, set the can in there. And it's going to tilt over a little bit and you're going to turn turn it on high and you're just going to wait until all that wax is melted all the chunks are in liquid form and that's pretty much it for this step so i'm not going to sit here and record 30 40 minutes of waiting for this so i'll get back with you when when it's done Okay, people, we've got it melted down. I don't know if I can angle it, but it's melted. It didn't take no 30 or 40 minutes. So it went a lot quicker than I was expecting. But let's get to it. Now you just take, see if I can get out of the way, pour just a little bit. You don't want to really try to fill it up. You pour a little in each hole. And if they get on the other ones, don't worry about it. They'll break. You can break them apart. But it pretty much uh, just forms to the to the lint, and the lint helps start the fire. Because we all know lint is pretty flammable, and then once the lint once the lint is burning, once the lint's burning, then It'll catch the wax on fire and then it'll burn until the wax is burned up. <clears throat> and you just set, let all that dry. And while that's drying, I think I've got another one that I've already made up. Set that to the side. 
Oh yeah, you might want to do this outside also, especially when you're pouring the wax, because you'll get some wax, but it comes right up, so ain't no problem. But you will need a source of fire to start these with, whether it's a lighter, a match, or a, a flint fire starter thing. You just light it up. This one ain't going to light lot for me. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it. Oh, we got a flame. Now these things stink when you light them, so... Of course, I mean, you're burning flint, and it's got hair, and or not flint, but lint. And you're burning hair and wax, and uh, it's going pretty good. And you just set it down, take your little twigs, even if they're a little bit damp, build you a teepee over it. Is it burning? Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Let's sit here and let you watch this burn for a few minutes. Make sure I don't get that in the fire. Yeah, you just pick them up. That's still wet, but once it dries, it'll be hard. And there you go. But like I said, these things are great for getting damp wood, small damp wood to catch on fire. Like I said, you can see it's burning real good. It'll do this for between five and 10 minutes. I'm not gonna let, make you sit here and watch it flame for five or 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. See you on the next video.